there. Welcome to another episode of Ask CVWD. My name is Robert Avina. I'm a water management specialist for Coachella Valley Water District. Today we'll be exploring the water meter and reasons why you may want to look into your water meter is you receive a higher bill than normal. Second, you may have a leak on your system. And third, you want to keep in within your budget for the month and just verify that the reads are correct. And your property budget is based on three factors, which is um, the landscape square footage around the home, four people living in your house, and the weather. First, let's locate the water meter. It's a little different than the other utilities that may be connected to the side of your house. The majority of the time, you'll find your meter in front of your house, in the ground near the curb. There are a few exceptions. If you happen to be a corner house like this one, it could be on the side of the street, or there are some properties that have the meter in the backyard or alleyway. The meter will be covered with cement lid or sometimes might be metal. On this property, the meter is located in the front near the mailbox. Let's go take a look. When you go to the meter, it's helpful to bring some tools with you. A screwdriver, gloves, a spray bottle with water, a towel or paper towel, and a small trowel shovel. I just toss everything into a bucket. Always be careful and wear your gloves. The meter box is a cool, dark place that may have critters hang out in there. The last thing you need is a trip to the ER for a bite or sting. When you lift the lid, you may find it pretty dirty inside. Since the box is below level, it may be filled with dirt and debris. This is when your trowel and bucket come in handy. Just scoop out some dirt and put it in the bucket. Now we have easier access to the meter, but sometimes you'll find that the numbers are hard to see. By spraying the face with water and wiping it down, the dials become a lot more visible. There are three main functions on the face of the water meter. First is the flow indicator, which could be in the shape of a triangle, star, or gear. If this small dial is moving even slowly, that means water is passing through the meter. If you're not using any water, a moving flow indicator can mean you have a leak. The flow indicator will show even the slightest water usage. The second is a large red, red dial. This sweeping hand calculates 7.48 gallons for every full rotation around the dial. This also equals to one cubic foot of water. This red dial has to do 100 full rotations to add up to one unit of water. For those that don't know, one unit of water is 748 gallons that you see on your water bill. Finally, this brings us to the odometer or register of the meter. You read the numbers just as you would on the car. However, when the meter reader takes a reading, they're only using the first number shown in white. The black numbers are in the tenths of a unit. Luckily, there is not any movement on this meter right now. Let's take a look at what happens when we turn on the hose. As you can see, the flow indicator is moving and the red hand is calculating the usage. And it's that easy to read your water meter. And if you have any other questions or concerns, you can always visit our website at cvwd.org. Our phone number is 760-398-2651. Your water is our promise.